The feeds and speeds within Bobcad are calculated based off of a material file and the material selected for the job. To view these materials and or edit them, under CAM part, right click on Milling Tools, then go to Default and then Stock Material Library. Bobcad CAM comes with hundreds of predefined materials. The predefined materials within the system are set up per the Machinist Handbook and a software application called Machinist Toolbox. All of these feed rates and setups are pretty close to what's needed. What you will find though is there can be a lot of variation on what's needed for feed rates based off of your tooling and the material that you're cutting and also the rigidity of your machine and maximum spindle speed settings. So these settings are a very good start however may need to be customized for your needs. It's very important that when running a program and especially for the first time that you look at the feeds and speeds being used and decide whether or not if they're good for your tooling setup. Let's take a look at Our tool steel. In this list are many different kinds of tool steels with their appropriate numbers so that you can find them. We can come in, we can set a material as default to the system, and we can also create a favorites folder. So you can come in and choose your materials and then add them or move them to your favorites. Now that I've moved one to my favorites, there's a favorites folder. Any items that I add to favorites will show up in that folder. Being that there are so many materials, you probably want to come in and set up some favorites, unless you're a job shop that works with many, many materials. Now, when you move something to favorites, it does actually move it from one category into the favorites category. You can always default everything back later. But just keep in mind that if we go into aluminum and move everything in here from aluminum to favorites, the aluminum choice will be empty unless you add new materials. So let's come back to our favorites. And here I can see that I've added a cast aluminum and a tool steel. Let's go ahead and choose modify material. Here we could see that we get our list of tool materials, which we had seen earlier within the setting up a tool. Now, being that the feed rates are customized based off of the tools, you have different settings for your different tool materials. And you could set up different cuttings and feed rates and chip loads based on that tool material. When the feed rates are calculated, what they're doing is they're calculating the per tooth cut amount based on the amount of flutes on the tool and also the diameter of the tool. If we look at, say, our carbide, we have our surface feet a minute, and this is per tooth. Also for tapping, our chip load per flute, and our plunge chip load. Now this information can be found within the tooling specs. If you're not sure of the information for your particular tools, you can choose the default materials and tools out of Bobcat as a very good starting point. Now if you do have this information, or if you have a tooling distributor that, that you can speak to about this information, they, they should be able to provide this to you. If not, go ahead and use the defaults within the system. They'll be a good starting point. Now, you can also customize the feed rates based on the operation type within Bobcat. So maybe you use one set of feed rates for your roughing and one set for the finishing. So you can override all of these values. 
based on feature types. The default or unlocking this will reduce the feed rates based for the different operation types to Bobcat defaults, which again should be a good starting point. But this is something in time you may want to customize to save a little bit of tool life or if you're using very custom tooling or, or a unique material. You can also add additional tool materials with your description and then give them your custom feed rates as well as change and rename what already exists. New materials can be added to the database as well. When you add a new material, you can give the material a name and then set up the cutting feed rates based on the tool materials and the functions or features within Bobcat or the cutting types. Once you've done this, that material then becomes available within the library based on your description. The tool material being used for the individual part or the individual job is located under milling stock. You can right click on the material, choose edit, and then select from the material database. Let's select our custom material that we have made and then choose OK. And what this will do now is for every function and feature that we add into Bobcat, it'll look back at the material file settings and calculate the feed rates for you. Again, the materials that are included with the system are a very good starting point. And you should just be able to select from your list of materials that are already predefined and available. You will need to know how to edit these if you want to change the values that are already being output by Bobcat. If not, these should be a good basis to start with. Now, if you've owned previous versions of Bobcat and already set up your material files, you can also import your cutting conditions. This will allow you to transfer over the feed rates that you've defined in an earlier version of Bobcat. You can also save out your material libraries to transfer them to another computer or to move them from one system to another. If you've come in and customized your feed rates, you may want to save out the material library in case if anything happens to your computer down the road. You wouldn't want to have to go back in and change all the settings that you've changed over months of using the system. 